What's happening, guys? Keith here with your July 15th edition of the Impact Report. So if you haven't checked out my review of this past week's episode of Impact already, you can do so by clicking the link at the top of the screen. And speaking of this past week's episode of Impact, it drew 284,000 viewers and ranked 110 on Cable's Top 150. Uh, This is a little down from last week that drew 304,000 viewers. However, it did draw a .08 rating in the 18 to 49 demographic, which was its highest since the April 19th episode, that had a .09 rating. So moving on to Impact's YouTube page, uh, the top three highlights of the week as far as views go. Uh, Number three, Sammy Callahan OVE versus Pentagon Jr., Ray Phoenix, and Rich Swan had 77,000 views. Um, Last week's number three spot actually had 85,000 views. Uh, This week's number two spot was King Issues a Slammiversary Challenge to LAX. Uh, That had 86,000 views. Last week's number two spot had 153,000 views. And number one this week was Austin Aries Assaults ex-NFL player D'Angelo Williams. That drew 95,000 views. Uh, Last week's number one spot, which was, I believe, the LAX face-off, was 315,000 views. Um, So uh, quite a bit of a drop-off as far as YouTube views go. I mean, we'll see how the trend goes week to week because this is only the third week I've done it. Hopefully at the end of each month I'll have a comprehensive list of what was in the top three consistently and if there is any correlation between the viewership on TV and the views on YouTube as that's kind of been a hot subject in the Internet world is – Actually, as far as Impact goes, because I think there was an article that had come out that said that Impact officials were worried about the low ratings and that people were watching stuff through their YouTube page only rather than watching the show on Pop TV. So maybe as we get more information, we can see if we can figure out what's really going on there. So a few weeks ago, I spoke about the August One Night Only show with Impact Wrestling partnering with Excite Wrestling. We have a name for that event, and it is titled One Night Only, Night of the Dummies. So that's a pretty cool name. Uh, Eli is front and center on the poster, and that event will take place on August 25th. Once we start getting some matches announced, I will let you guys know as far as that goes. Um, A couple of days ago, we learned that Impact Wrestling officially announced that Tessa Blanchard has signed a long-term contract with the company. Uh, No official word on the length. However, it is rumored that it is a two-year deal. So that is great news for Impact. I think they'll probably go a little harder with Tessa Blanchard as she was kind of... uh, We weren't sure of where she was going because we weren't sure how long she was going to stick around. Fantastic news here. Hopefully some more big names will follow her over to Impact. Um, The August Twitch event called the Uncivil War pitting Impact Wrestling versus Next Generation Wrestling has had its first match announced, and that is Trevor Lee versus Myron Reed. Uh, I will continue to update you guys as more matches are announced. Um, This week's media teleconference call featured Sammy Callahan, and he is always a a delight to have on the call. Uh, So first, Sammy Callahan hypes his match with Pentagon Jr. at Slammiversary. Uh, Sammy says that Pentagon Jr. will lose his mask and... After Sammy takes his mask, he may start wearing it and wrestling around the world as Pentagon Jr. Uh, He says despite what people say, he says that his hair is just as important as Pentagon's mask. He has put his blood and tears into his hair, and it is who he is. Um, He was asked about being trained by Les Thatcher, and he says Les told him not to be a fat piece of shit and maybe he'll amount to some amount to something uh he says this he will not be pushed around by an old man like that again uh he talks about being the only person on three separate nationally televised shows at the same time being mlw lucha underground and impact wrestling uh he says he can everyone can thank him for getting the first ring of honor versus impact wrestling match um jay chris joins the call at this point and uh Sammy says he's tired of people saying that the Chris brothers are his lackeys. They are their own men, but together they are an unstoppable unit. Uh, They talk about playing golf a lot and not being people that just focus on wrestling all the time but go out and doing other things. Uh, Jake says that golf is the hardest game he's ever played. Uh, Sammy talks about his feud with Eddie Edwards being over because he won. He ruined Eddie's life and is now on to bigger and better things. 
Uh, he says the Impact Championship is on his radar next. Uh, they were asked where is one place they would like to wrestle. Uh, Callahan said Antarctica. And then Jay Chris tells us that one of his bucket list items is to wrestle on the moon. He says, imagine going to the moon and holding a pro wrestling event. Definitely interesting there. Um, someone brings up the idea of the of Impact bringing in a trios title. Uh, they say they would be the first and last champions because they are the best trio. Um, they are asked about contract statuses. Callahan says a contract is just a piece of paper, and he has quit just about every promotion he has worked for. The draw does what he wants and when he wants. Um, he says if people want to be famous, they wrestle me because they know they are going to get more buzz than they've ever gotten in their life. Look what happened to Eddie Edwards. Look what happened to LAX once they feuded with OVE. Look what is happening right now to Pentagon Jr. I'm bringing him to an even bigger echelon than he was before. Uh, Ross asks about internet reports that say that they no longer have to pay for meals in Ohio because of who they are. Uh, Sammy says it just is in Ohio, but all over the world. He says rich people stay rich and famous people stay famous because they don't have to pay for things. Um, Jake verifies this as he says he dines at a lot of local ohio restaurants and the food is always on them and uh they kind of close the call hyping up the six-man tag match that took place on this past episode of impact against rich swan ray phoenix and pentagon jr which was a fantastic match and the show overall was very good um so last but not least uh rich swan was a guest on the interactive radio show and uh, he was asked a couple things about Impact Wrestling. First, he gave his overall impressions of Impact Wrestling. Uh, Rich said, I think it's an amazing company. I've always followed it ever since I was younger. It, was always been, or it has always been the company where you're going to see pro wrestling. It's not just geared toward the entertainment. You're going to see what people have been dieharding to see. The fast-paced, fight-forever type style. That is what you're going to get out of Impact. I love that. And... When people that I've literally grown up with, like Sammy Callahan, the Chris Brothers, Sonjay, etc., you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm part of a family. Um, next, he talks about the incredible fanfare he's received in Impact Wrestling. He says, I'm very surprised, honestly. When I had made my return to independent wrestling, a lot of people didn't take too kindly to me having on, on the shows. I think once I was able to show my talents, people gave me, for a lack of a better term, a second chance. I've taken that second chance and rolling with it. I'm not going to let anybody stop me no matter what they say and no matter what they do. The people that have jumped on board, I've always said I greatly appreciate their support. I've grown up with these people, with these fans. Wrestling has been in my life since I was 16 years old. These people see that. I grew up with them in their eyes. For them to give me reactions like that means the world. Um, he talks about the possibility of working with his wife, Sue Young, on Impact TV, despite being very different characters. Uh, he says, you know, that has definitely been something that has crossed my mind. We have planned for it together. You never know what might happen. She might become happy, or you never know. I might snap and join the dark side. That would definitely be interesting to see how fans would react to seeing me and Sue Young together. You never know. It could happen. And last, he is asked what he hopes to achieve in Impact, and he says... What I hope to achieve is to help myself in Impact Wrestling get to another level and bring us a top notch. I definitely would love to be the X Division champion one day and be Impact Wrestling champion one day and prove that I am one of the best wrestlers in the world. So, like I said, going to be a short show this week. I really don't have too much. Um, I guess I will see you guys next time for my Impact review on Friday. Friday evening, I should be joining Robert Does Wrestling on his show, going over a Slammiversary preview show, and then I'll probably have my own video of preview and predictions over the weekend. Not sure if I'm going to have an impact report. We'll see how things go. I know they are doing multiple um, impact media teleconferences next week, I believe being with Johnny Impact and the second being with Austin Aries. They said there may even be a third one, but... I guess time will tell with that. So thanks for checking out my video. And until next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.